just prepare two slides. So uh, just wait to everybody's back, or shall I just start? Okay. Um, so this will uh, be a talk about another tool, so not Zeek or Spicy, um, but I'll get back to why it's important for the Zeek community as well to get to know this project. Uh, it's about dissect. Um, first, I'm going to explain briefly what dissect is. Uh, secondly, how does it work? And third, why does it matter to this community? Why would it be interesting? So starting off, dissect. Uh, what is dissect? Basically, uh, at FoxIT and NC Group, we also do incident response. And around 10 years ago, uh, we really needed a tool that is able to uh, do incident response in a fast and scalable way. So basically, whenever a customer calls us, uh, we want to do the triage as soon as possible and we want to get results as fast as possible. And we found out all those years ago that that wasn't really available with the tools uh, present back then. That's why we decided to write our own tooling. And that's now made open source like one and a half weeks ago, I believe. Uh, so it's out there, it's written in Python and you can um, uh, check it out on GitHub. So that's the ISEC. It's an enterprise scale forensics toolkit. Uh, and it's primarily built for its speed and it just works. So we need a way to quickly collect data from all hosts in a, in a network and also analyze that. So then we'll get back to how does it work. Um, Dissect is built out of libraries and you compare it in that way a bit with SPICY. So Dissect consists of a lot of parsers for different file systems and file uh, formats. So for example, there's a dissect.ntfs project, which primarily focuses on parsing the NTFS file system. There's also a Dissect project for hypervisors, for example, to parse VMware uh, virtual disks. There's also Dissect parsers for, for Microsoft only streams, which are, can be found in, for example, Office documents. There are, there are parsers for lots and lots of things, quite similar to SPICY. Uh, but whereas uh, Dissect primarily focuses on host investigations, so it parses file systems and also some file formats. SPICY primarily focuses, obviously, on network protocols and also has some file uh, format parsers. There's already an overlap there. We'll get back to that at the end. So it, so it ships basically with a lot of libraries. I think there's a huge list of 20 or so uh, parsers. But with parsers alone, you don't have a tool, right? Uh, so th therefore, it also ships with some additional tooling that makes use of those libraries. First of all, there's Acquire. That's a tool that ships with Dissect. And basically, that collects forensic uh, uh, indicators uh, from hosts. So back in the days, you, whenever you wanted to investigate a host, you would just collect an evidence container or a raw disk image. You would transfer that back to your uh, company, maybe uh, do some analysis on that, and then f uh, find possible uh, indicators of uh, compromise. Uh, with Acquire, you can uh, do some acquisition of forensic data on a live system, uh, which will result in a really small archive of forensic data. For example, take a Windows server, uh, might have a hard drive of 200 gigabytes. Whenever you run the acquire binary or acquire tool on that, it will only collect, for example, the registry keys, the Windows event logs, all that matters in a quick triage. Then you'll end up probably with an archive of around two, 300 megabytes. Just a small, a small amount of what the raw disk image would be. So then it enables you to basically roll out this tool over, say, a thousand, tens of thousands uh, servers and endpoints collect information that's required, say within an hour, and in the next hour you can unleash all the other tools on those archives to get already some initial information about the compromise. So that's Acquire. It's basically a tool to, to get forensics data from a live system. And then there's the other tools that ship with Dissect. They're called Target Shell, Target Query, and they're meant to be ran on targets. So a target is, for example, a virtual disk from VMware, but also a raw disk image or an acquire archive, like I just explained. So what you can then do is say, well, I want to query this, uh, this disk image, this archive for all the registry keys. And what it will do, it will on the fly parse the disk or the archive or whatever is underneath that. It will look for the stuff that you specified that you wanted and it will get back to you. So for example, you can collect lots and lots of data, centralize them in one place, run like a registry, um, uh, parser on all of the images, it will give you back all of the registry keys and you can do your IOC searches already on that. Um, there's also, for example, target shell. 
uh, if you type target shell and then uh, provide an input, a, say a raw disk image or again an acquire archive, you'll really get like an, an emulated shell. So you really get like a bash shell where you can do ls or cd into that directory, but you're not actually mounting that image to your file system. You're just on the fly, parsing the file system, checking the files that are in that directory. Um, so that allows you to really uh, quickly uh, investigate all these, these kind of hosts. So again, it doesn't mount anything. It does not interfere with all your forensic evidence. It's just read-only uh, reading and parsing this system. Finally, the link with Spicy and Zeek, because that's why we're all here today. It's not uh, only promoting this tool, uh, but how can Spicy and Zeek profit from this? Uh, we had a chat with the team about this, and we came up with like two possibilities. Obviously, there's a link with Spicy. They're both parsing libraries. Spicy is an, an, has its own language for creating parsers. Um, and while Spicy, I already mentioned it, focuses mainly on network protocol parsers, Dijsex is primarily focused on uh, file system parsers. But again, uh, for example, uh, Dissect has a OLA stream parser, uh, but also probably a zip file parser. Spicy also has a zip archive parser, if I remember correctly. So maybe Spicy could also learn something from Dissect and the other way around as well. Maybe if we would want to have a, say, malicious document analyzer in Zeek slash Spicy, say that we could intercept a, a docx file from the OpenD network, uh, unzip it using the Spicy zip uh, parser, and then extract all the OLE streams via a Spicy OLE parser. Then you can also do, for example, do analysis on these kind of streams. Would be interesting, just a thought. Um, one of the possibilities. The other one is the Zeek agent. Obviously, uh, that's still work in progress. Um, maybe uh, Dissect can also function like some inspiration for that agent. Um, as I said, direct, uh, Dissect quite uniquely uh, doesn't mount the, uh, the uh, actual uh, disk image to the file system, but it rather on the fly parses everything, and that's quite unique. Maybe the Zeek agent could do something with that as well. And the last possibility we thought about was um, we just this morning saw the talk about from Microsoft about the integration with Zeek. Uh, so then it's it's used for monitoring purposes, right? Dissect was written as a one-shot forensic uh, 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 evidence capture. So Zeek is a continuous monitoring project. Dissect is one shot. Um, however, how cool would it be, for example, if you have like a running endpoint agent with Zeek on it? You know on the fly. Uh, whether something is anomalous, you, you see something strange, and then at the same time you create like this tiny little acquire archive with all the forensics data available to you. It's not that big in size. Uh, so you can maybe ship that back to your SOC or whatever and do some host analysis on it as well. Um, I don't know if that's actually already part of MDE, um, but just also a thought that came into uh, our minds. So I've been talking for, I think, a few 10 minutes right now. Um, I only prepared a lightning talk for five minutes, so I'm already past my time. Um, maybe we could use the next uh, few minutes to quick chat about what you think about this project, how you think it could influence Speak and uh, Zeek and Spicy, um, and what other possibilities there might be. I think I have one additional slide, but it does not say that much. You can install it with pip, and you can try it yourself on this, uh, this website. And it's still actively being developed. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I think we got time for a question or two. I mean, uh, one thing you could do, maybe, I don't know, like you say, just throwing out ideas. Yeah. Looking at your list of parsers here, I mean, um, you could, you know, potentially tie in Spicy maybe or, or even Zeek with uh, and create a parser for PCAP. So like yeah, if, yeah. if you have somebody that's captured a whole, you know, a whole ton of PCAP and, and you could open it up with your tools and extract files and things from it that way. Yeah, I never thought about it that way. That's actually a really good idea. Somebody from my team, do you notice, uh, write this down? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. Uh, 